Howdy folks, New Yorker in Knoxville here, Herb speaking to you. I hope you're doing well. So uh, just a quick garden update. Um, I Last time I had done an update, I was considering putting some bean trellises in my garden. And um, based on how fast the, my beans are growing, I decided that that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, originally, the game plan was that I had planted sunchokes which were going to be, um, they were going to be the trellises for my beans, but uh, they had some sort of attack on them. They are starting to recover, but it's, uh, it's a slow haul for them. I've been putting pots over them at night because I just think that whatever wildlife is out here is really keyed in on them. But the reason that I am putting these trellises up or these uh, the bamboo teepees is because my beans are starting to get very spindly which means they're basically looking for something to latch on to so they can start growing upwards um, the beans have looks like they've gotten a little aphid damage but they're still growing they're overcoming um, any sort of damage to them my squash is also steadily growing it's a little bit yellowish I might have to put some uh, magnesium in the soil to perk them up a little bit um, but my sunchokes they, they are fighting the good fight they're just they're just not quite able to keep up with how fast the beans are growing so all I did I got these uh, little bamboo stakes and my wife had some zip ties so I just stuck them in the ground all angled towards one another and then I just put a zip tie there to keep them stable that's it so um, that way there will be something for these beans to grow on as the squash uh, uh, sprawls out I'm hoping that that will further stabilize these towards the base and um, you know and then if the sun chokes happen to survive and catch up and grow all the better all that means is there's more um, sun chokes are getting beat up pretty hard but you can see here that this one is starting to like send out other shoots and um, not just there but everywhere so I'm hoping that these sun chokes will basically just keep sending up growth that that uh, outpaces the damage that they, any sort of animals can do to them uh, I did some research on this happening a lot of times different animals uh, deer or even slugs will just keep gnawing at these things and yet they'll still persevere and grow eventually so um, you know nothing's perfect in the garden you just kind of have to pivot and manage as things arise but overall we're doing good I mean everything's staying alive or growing and uh, and so I just wanted to share that with you if you ever grow anything that needs a trellis get three stakes like this and you can use zip ties you can use fishing string you can use twine whatever it is that you have and that generally does the trick and it's way cheaper than buying a pre-made trellis so all right i hope you found this interesting and uh, have a great day guys oh and please like subscribe share we always appreciate that thank you